I am on my way to go pick up Carter and we're gonna go out and do some camping up at Spud Lake. It's a little lake, kinda in the high mountains, about 9,500 feet. Yeah, I'm really excited. I love going camping. We're gonna go up there and see if we can't catch some fish. There's a uh, brook trout up that way. But we are gonna spend the night up there. I've got a backpack ready and got my tent and everything is ready to go. You're allowed to keep the fish up there. You know, we are camping. I might keep one, grill it, you know, um, cause we'll eat it that day. I'm okay with that. We've got kind of a late start here. Uh, Carter got off of work at 5, so it's right now 5 of 6. I am heading over to go pick him up. He's got to get his backpack together and all that, but uh, we probably won't leave till about 5.30. And then we're going to head up to uh, Spud Lake, and that takes about an hour. We'll get there around 6.30, and then it's an hour hike up there, maybe hour and a half. So we'll probably get there right at dusk and have to quickly <laughs> set up tent but hopefully um, there'll be enough light for me to film a lot of this so I'm gonna be honest while driving up to the trailhead we were a bit nervous about the Sun setting before we reached the lake luckily we made decent timing and started hiking with about an hour and a half of sunlight. This is a relatively easy hike, and there is beauty everywhere. Well guys, I'm old and out of shape, so I'm holding uh, Carter back here. We're, uh, we're tired, or he's not, I am. So I'm taking a little break. Sun's starting to kind of set, but I think we got another half hour and we're almost there, so. Along the way, there are a few small beaver ponds that are just absolutely beautiful. It was really hard not to stop and admire the beauty. We really wanted to stay here all day, but we knew we didn't have a lot of time to set up camp, so we started hiking again. And finally, we made it to the top. We decided to make camp over on the other side of the lake, a place I have camped before. All right, this will work perfect. It is getting cold. Time for a jacket. Gotta grab some firewood, and these small dead twigs are perfect for kindling. Alright, time for bed. Well, good morning, everyone. So, I had a rough night last night. I uh, only got maybe an hour or two of sleep. Something hit me bad. I don't know if I ate something bad or what. Um, I don't think it was the water. I mean, we did take some water out of the lake down there, but we boiled it and uh, Carter felt fine. Um, so, man, I, I had to be up like three times last night, multiple times. It was rough. Had the flu or something, but I feel better this morning, so that's good. 
I've already looked out and I've seen a bunch of trout rise right by where we're at. So we got to get out there and catch a couple. Um, but first, thing, first things first, got to get a fire going. <laughs> it's cold. I'm a little hungry. So I think we'll try one of our Mountain House uh, breakfast meals. I got a bacon and egg one. Yum. Hopefully I can handle that. Beautiful morning. Crisp, cold. It's about 6.30 in the morning. Usually I'm up right at crack of dawn, but I slept in for about an hour. Got uh, light about 5.30, so. <sighs> Man, that was rough last night, rough. Last night we had a little trouble getting the fire started. I mean, not a lot, but um, we just didn't have a whole lot of tinder. We didn't have a lot of time to search for it. I looked right here. The tree bark is impregnated with this uh, resin. So if we could pull some off, I'm thinking that would start pretty quickly. I'm gonna break off a few pieces of this. I mean, this stuff is not gonna hurt the tree doing this. It's kind of interesting though. It looks like something rubbed up against it. Maybe a, a bear clawed it or whatever. So I'll get to that, start kind of pulling some of this off and should light the fire instantly. If we had more time last night, we would have gathered wood to have ready for the morning. But we didn't, so we had to gather it before making our fire this morning. This Laplander saw really makes short work of these larger logs. It's always good to baton down the logs to smaller pieces. Please guys, don't cut down live trees. Fine trees already fallen. Plus, they'll burn a lot better for you anyway. Alright, so what I'm doing here guys is I'm putting a, a small base down because the ground is a little moist. Stick my tinder right there. Now you want to make sure you got your uh, all your tinder handy. We've got these little pieces of impregnated resin. Want some of these real small thin twigs. Easy to grab to. Carter was nice enough to gather a whole bunch of these. This is kind of all you got to work with out this way. There's not a whole lot, so. So I'm just using a dryer lint that I brought. It's light. I always bring my own tinder just because it's hard to find it. Man, that resin bark lit almost instantly. Now, just place smaller pieces on top and gradually get to larger sticks and twigs. Now it's finally time to boil some water after the fire is raging. All right, nothing early in the morning. But once it got warmer, I had to take off my jacket, and that's when the trout really started biting. Please guys, wet your hands before handling any fish you're gonna release. It really was
was a beautiful place to be. We only got to bring one rod with us, so it was Carter's turn to give it a try. Carter got a fish. Need help uh, landing them? Now my turn again. This was a nice brook trout. They are so pretty. All right, so me and Carter have packed up. We're kind of ready to go, but we wanted to do a couple last little uh, casts. See if we can't get a couple. So. Oh, nice. Oh, you had him. So Carter and I decided we were going to walk out onto this land bridge to get out a little deeper. Walked out and it's a floating land bridge. The thing was sinking beneath us. Right? It's crazy. Nice beaver dam there. Beautiful, beautiful area. Alright, Carter and I are heading back down. We got about six or seven fish. And we actually ate one. I hooked one deep in the gull and or in the gill and uh decided it's good to eat them so tasted good and serious this is it this is why we come it's just an ocean of green it's ridiculous man i think it's cool how all these pools keep going down yeah constantly. there's hundreds of them yeah yeah so there's beavers that that come along here and there's a stream and they'll just dam it up and make little pools we decided to take a break at this lookout point which is about halfway down the mountain it was so beautiful and just a great ending to an amazing day we had a blast catching a few trout and camping overnight we will definitely have to come back and do this again soon if you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. There's more info in the description section, so check that out. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Now, go catch some fish.